how can we converge any image type into a 3D mesh without modeling it in Blender? All right, so here we are in Blender 5. So the first step is going to be to delete all the elements that we got in the scene. So I'd like to press A so that we can select everything and we can press X and delete all the objects. After that, we need to drag our reference image. In our case, we got this Apple logo. I'm going to simply drag it and drop it in the scene, in the 3D viewport. But after that, we can do right click on this image. Let me just select it, left click, right click, and we need to converge it into mesh plane. Let me just click on it and we can click on OK. All right, so now we convert our image into plane. So next step is going to be to make it flat on the ground. So what we can do, we can press N so that we can access the transform. Let me just select my plane. We can jump to the item here and we can reset the rotation. We can just left click, drag all these fields and we can just give them zero. Press enter. There we go. So right now it's completely flat on the floor. And same thing for the location. We can just left click and drag down, press zero and press enter. So now it's completely centered. So if you press Z and switch to the material preview, you're going to be able to see the image. Let me just, we need to flip to the other side. So if you press Z and switch to the material preview, you're going to be able to see our image. So it comes, our plane comes textured. So in our case, I'm going to just stick to the solid for now. And after that, what we need to do, we have to extrude that logo. So to do that, we need to select our plane and we need to add the displace modifier. So we can jump here to the modifiers and we can search for the displace modifier, this one right here. So after adding the displace modifier, we need to load our texture, the same texture that we are using right here. So down below, you're going to be seeing this texture properties. We can just click on it and click on new. And here we can click on open. And you can just select the Apple image that we got. So double click on it. So now it's loaded. All right. So the next step is going to be to subdivide our plane so that we can see this logo popping up here. So we need to have more geometry than just for these four vertices. So what we can do, we can press A to select everything, all the vertices, and we can press Control E and go to subdivide. And on the bottom here, we have this panel. You can just expand it. And I'd like to increase the number of cuts all the way to 10 like this. So now let me just go back to the object mode so we can see this weird shape. So basically this texture is duplicated multiple times. We should not be having this. So to fix this problem, we can just select our plane, jump to the modifiers in here for the coordinates. We need to change it from local to UV. So now it's only one texture popping up, but as you can see, it's really low quality. So what we have to do, we have to increase the number of subdivisions. So on the edit mode, we can press control E. And let's subdivide again. We can just subdivide it, let's say five times. And let's take a look at it at, on the object mode. So as you can see, we start seeing the shape of our logo. So we have to subdivide it in more, even more. So on the edit mode, control E, subdivide. And we can just increase the subdivisions here to, let's say five again. All right, let's go back to the object mode. There we go. So the logo looks better, even though the edges are not perfect, but we're going to fix them later. All right, so now let's apply the displace modifier so that we can work on it. So we can just click on this button here and we can apply the displace. So now our plane is a mesh. It doesn't have any modifiers applied to it. You can see that. So it's a complete mesh. So what we have to do, we have to get rid of all the rest here, all these vertices. So what we can do, we can press one so that we can be facing the front here. So we are on the front orthographic and I'd like to press Z, switch to the wireframe so that we can select everything. And I'd like to select the top like this and delete it. So this is the top. So we are leaving only the bottom. You can just press X and delete it like that. So there we go. So we got our logo right here. You can just press Z, switch back to the solid. Also, you can go back to the object mode so that you can see it. So we got it, but we have to fix this problem that we got here. So what we can do on the edit mode again, we can press A to select everything and we can flatten our logo. So you can try S to scale it on the Z axis and you can type zero. So this way it's gonna be completely flat. There we go. So on the side, it's completely flat plane. So now we have to smooth out this edge that we got here of our Apple logo. So to do that, we have to extract the edge first. So we should not be having this geometry at the center. We only need the edge. So here is a quick trick to get only the edge. So you can press A to select everything and we can extrude it down just a bit. We can just press E, extrude it down, for example, here, and we can select only the sharp edges. And we can go to select and let's select only sharp edges. So these are the sharp edges. 
and in our case we only need one sharp edge whether it's the top or, or the bottom so what we can do we can press one so that you can be facing the front or graphic again press z switch to the wireframe and we can deselect the bottom so you can press b for the box selection and we can press shift so that you can deselect instead of selecting and we can left click and drag like this so this way we're going to be deselecting the bottom so we only have the top so we can press shift d to duplicate this part right here and let me just move the use the move tool so that we can drag it to the right like this and we can press p to separate selection so that it's going to be its own piece all right so now we got the edge so what we need to do next is smooth it out we have to smooth out this edge so luckily we have an add-on so luckily we're having a modifier it's called the smooth modifier so let's just search for it here in the modifiers it's called the smooth this one right here and we can just increase this factor up and just increase it to something like 1.5 and we can increase the repetition let me just give it 20 and there we go so we have a completely clean clean logo so what we can do next we can apply this smooth modifier so we can just click on it and apply it and after that i'd like to reduce the poly count of our logo so right now if you switch to edit mode you're going to see that it's dense in geometry we don't need this dense geometry for our logo so what we can do we can press a to select everything and we can press ctrl e and instead of subdividing now we're going to be doing the unsubdivide so let me just click on it and we can in repeat the iterations so i think around three so three is going to be fine all right so now as the last step we have to fill this spaces so we can press a to select all these vertices and we can press f so this way we're going to be filling these empty spaces we can press z go back to solid so that you can see that all right and as a final step we need to add the solid define so that we can push it down or extrude it down so we can add here a new motive it's going to be the solid define it's going to allow us to control the thickness we can just increase it up like this something like 0 0.3 and in case this solidify modifier is not working well so for example if you were having this part here going down like this and this part is extruded up let me show you the way to fix it i'm going to show you this problem so let me just press l to select this unit you can press shift n and let me just switch it to the inside you might have this problem here this part is going down this part is extruded up so the way to fix it is to select for example this part here and we can press shift and n so after that we can press let me just press shade smooth or actually let me just use the auto shade smooth this one right here also i'd like to get rid of this notes you can just press ctrl to delete them and as a final step we need to add the bevel modifier so that we can bevel up these edges so here we can add a new modifier it's going to be the bevel bevel modifier so you can see that we have some uh, bevel in here but it's not working well so the reason it's not working well is because of some vertices are very close to each another for example here so what you can do we can press a to select everything we can press m to merge the vertices and let me just merge by distance so zero vertices are removed we can decrease this amount here so that we can get rid of these close vertices so let me just do something like this there we go so six vertices are removed and as you can see the bevel modifier is working perfectly right now i'm gonna just delete this one press x delete it and as a final step we can increase the level of the bevel segment so i'm gonna increase it to five so that we can have a pretty much smooth edge at the end and there we go so we got our logo we converted our 2d image into 3d model in blender 5.